The round trip efficiency of a battery is really just looking at how much power you need to put into it to, and how much power you can, as a result, get out of it. Because when you charge a battery, there are inefficiencies in doing that. If you charge it from AC, there'll be conversions of voltages, there's a lot of heat lost. Overall, there is an efficiency in charging and there's an efficiency with discharging as well. If you're discharging via mains, you've got to then convert the cell voltage back up to 240 volts. There's loads of heat involved in that as well. And you just lose lots of power in the process. And this is quite important when it comes to people who are looking to maybe charge batteries for uh, during nighttime for use in the day. Because depending on the round trip efficiency of a battery, it might not be worth doing. If you're looking at your actual unit rate of electricity, it might just not be worth doing. Anyway, so I thought I'd test it on the Delta 2 Max as I'd seen some terrible figures for the Delta Max online. Somebody said they were fi it was 58% and I couldn't find any good solid figures for the Delta 2 Max. I thought I'd test it myself. So let's start out with the results here and then I'll just go through the process of what I did and the testing in the video afterwards. Just so you know exactly what the test setup was like, I was charging from 0% uh, using AC only. I used a uh, 500 watt charge rate to avoid the fan running continuously and uh, too much heat in the cells. The final 0.5 kilowatt was charged at 200 watts so I kind of ramped it down as it uh, reached the maximum. I discharged also via AC, by the AC inverter on the battery, at 500 watts until the battery powered off. Measurements were done using the Energini watt meter. So let's take a look at the results. As far as uh, input, as far as charging is concerned, I needed to put in 2.328 kilowatts to get the battery charged, and it's a 2.048 kilowatt battery. So uh, as far as discharging goes, I managed to get 1.821 kilowatts out of the 2048 watt hour battery. So let's just uh, put that on a different graph for you so you can see the... Um, actual energy losses there. We've got uh, 280 watt hours lost on the uh, charge process and uh, 227 watt hours lost on the uh, discharge process. Kind of similar really, which gives us a charge efficiency of 87.9% and a discharge efficiency of 88.9%. Pretty good. So the final result, we have a total power needed to charge of uh, 2,328 and we got 1,821 watts out and uh, there we go there's there's our total losses 570 about a half a kilowatt lost in the process which gives us a round trip efficiency of 78.2 percent so yeah really good much better than I was expecting 78 percent you can't grumble at that at all that's a good figure uh, if you consider that the EB70 there was 76% just one way. That's just getting the power from the mains into the battery. Only had an efficiency rating of 76%. So a two-way efficiency figure of 78 is really good and much better than the supposed 58% of the Delta Max. So good results overall, happy with that. And uh, that gives me some good figures to start working out whether or not it's worth changing to a uh, dual rate electricity plan. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, put them down in the comments and I uh, hope you find these sort of videos useful. If you do, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's much appreciated. Any kind of engagement, any sort of comments, anything like that. Even if you want to tell me the video was a load of rubbish, that's fine. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.